Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner and Arlen's Travels. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is to show you and tell you about my packing tips and tricks. I will be doing a demonstration of, of a garment folder and how to use one of these compression bags, which I'm gonna be learning with you guys because I've never used a compression packing cube. And I'm gonna show you my favorite packing cubes up to this point, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pack up one of these compression cubes. So Chris just got us new suitcases. Woohoo! Uh, my old Samsonite. It, the zipper on the front of it broke uh, on our last trip and Chris had to fix it. Thank goodness he can fix anything uh, and he was able to fix it, but it's never worked right since. He said, Arlene, you need a new suitcase. I think he found this on an Amazon lightning deal or something. I'm actually not quite sure where he found these, but he got himself one and he got me a purple one again, cause it goes with my Vera bag. See, that's my Vera bag that he got me for Christmas several years ago it has held up beautifully it should for the price although we got it at an outlet sale and it, we didn't pay actually we got it off of ebay this one and a smaller 21 inch bag off of ebay and it didn't cost that much those bags are pricey though if you just go to buy them outright on the vera site but that is a, like a 24 inch spinner this is a 20 as you can see well maybe you can't see 28 inch spinner it is a spinner. I won't go without a spinner nowadays, you guys. I know some people like them, some people don't. It's a personal choice, whatever you like. I like them because I can just roll it to my side instead of having to pull it or push it. I can roll it right, you know, right by my side and push it, and I like that. Uh, but anyway, this is just your basic suitcase. I'm not gonna open it up and go through everything for you. It's just got, it does have a spiffy little pocket up here in the front that you could put like your boarding passes. Not that you would take this on the plane, you can't, this is too big, This you have to check this luggage. But, you know, on your way to check the bag, you could put your, you know, whatever you need to get out to, sh to give the check-in agents, you know, whatever. But anyway, it's a nice little bag, just like, just like any suitcase you would get though, but it is 28 inches tall and it weighs 7.7 .7 pounds. To me, that's an important weight because I know I now have 40, two pounds to play with. I don't want to go over 50 pounds no matter how we fly, whether or not we fly first class or not. I always try to keep our luggage, my bag and Chris does too, under 50 pounds because I have to think about the people, the poor people's backs who are handling these bags. Also too, we did have one time we had a, a bag that was overweight, a suitcase that was overweight, and that is the suitcase that got lost. I don't know whether that had anything to do with it, but I know that they they cannot, if it's overweight, they put a sticker on it and they, the people who handle the luggage have to wait for the other person to come and help them pick up the bag. I don't know whether that's why it got lost because it had to sit there waiting and it never got picked up or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not saying that's what happened, but regardless, I try to help people's backs and we always keep them under 50. So I try to keep, I'd rather take an extra bag than to overpack a bag. You know? So this will be my bag to handle all of my clothes, my cosmetics, and some of my bus tabs that you all have seen. And I'll give you iCards for everything, links in the description of this video for everything that I can link when I speak about, you know, when I do my carry-on luggage, you know, I showed my carry-on luggage, I'll give you a link for that. I'll give you a link for all of my videos in this series in the description. So anyway, this is the big suitcase I'll be using. We'll be taking the 24 incher for overflow. Extra jackets if we need, for souvenirs coming home if we need. Uh, the tripod and the monopod. Chris always takes both things for an Alaska cruise because he is the photographer, you know, of the family. Plus any umbrellas, anything extra that we think we might need for Alaska that you don't normally necessarily need to take for a Caribbean cruise, you know? The clothes are heavier, we take more photography equipment, and that's just us because we love Alaska, you guys. We love Alaska, we love all it has to offer, we love all the wildlife. Alaska is our go-to, 
Oh my goodness, we just love it. So we do take a lot of stuff with us to capture Alaska, to try to bring it home with us, if you will. And then this is my carry-on. This is what I'm gonna use for my carry-on. This is a Ted Baker bag. This is a pricey bag, as I mentioned in my other video. Chris got this for me kind of as a surprise because he, he could see me struggling with another bag that I had. This has a telescopic candle on it and I could pull this behind me or push it and I am not gonna have to worry about lugging a, a backpack uh, or a bag on my shoulder. I like, don't mind a backpack, to be honest with you. I can do a backpack, but I can do a shoulder bag. I don't like shoulder bags. Anyway, I'm gonna give this one a try this time because it's lovely uh, and I wanna try it. And I think it's just, it's a beautiful bag. It is pricey. Again, I'm telling you right out front, full disclosure, it is not a, not a cheap bag, something I would not have chosen, <clears throat> excuse me, for myself necessarily, but Chris got it for me as a gift and I was very, very grateful, very, very grateful to have it. So there's my carry-on. So these are the three bags. Plus Chris will take a 28 inch spinner as well for all of his clothes and cosmetic, or not cosmetics, but you know, whatever, his, his attache case of stuff, you know? So uh, I don't think we're gonna need a fourth, but if we happen to, we're, you know, that's okay. Uh, and we'll take probably a checked bag. We'll probably take a 21 inch bag and just take it on the plane with us. I am going to go over some packing cubes and my garment folder in this video. And my I friend Pam there in the Alaska Cruises on Princess group on, on uh, Facebook. She and I are admins with three other lovely gentlemen. We admin this group that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger on us. And she found these lovely bags, Begale, and they are compression bags. I'll show you the, this in more detail when I get to this point. But I'm gonna, this is what I'm gonna demonstrate today are these Begale bags. But I'm gonna show you my favorite, up to this point anyway, my Shack Pack, which is my go-to bag. But these are lovely and these are just as good quality as the Shack Pack. And they might be a little better than the Shack Pack because you can compress them down further. These are compression packing cubes. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see how far I can get. But anyway, I wanted to show you this bag really, really quickly. I do take a bag, for those of you who cruise, and for those of you who will be transported to the airport, either by the cruise line, like we usually take a princess transfer. We don't normally walk our luggage off and catch a taxi and do it that way. A lot of people do, and if you are one of them, feel you know awesome, that's wonderful. But we usually do, get a transfer with the with the cruise line. So the night before we disembark, we have to have our luggage out in the hallway by about 10 o'clock at night, usually. So therefore, I have to have a way to, let's say we wanna to go to a late show, we wanna go get a little snack, and we wanna leave our room in, in, in decent clothes, you know. <laughs> so we have, you know, and they take your luggage, they take it and ready it to be transported, you know, to the airport. So you're gonna to need to have a way to pack up the clothes you wear the night before, maybe your nightgown, your morning cosmetics for the next morning of disembarkation, all of those little things that you might not have room for if you just have a smaller carry-on. So what I do is I pack a lightweight bag, also on Princess ships, and I bet you on other ships, they have a very, a, a bag that you could buy in their shop in Calypso Cove, you guys. It's a lovely little bag. Scott, for those of you who know Scott Singer, bought one of these little bags. They're from Princess, and it's very nice. But I do take my own, just because I have it, and I pack it in my checked baggage. And this is carry-on compliant, and this is what I use to come home with. So I would, say this would be my personal item and this would be my little carry-on, but you can take a personal item and you can take a carry-on onto the plane. Chris and I usually take a backpack size carry-on, so therefore you can take a rolly carry-on too. I don't know what size they would assume this. I bet you they would think this was a carry-on, not a, not a personal item. But regardless, this could be considered a personal item because you put it on your shoulder. Regardless, I take it, I pack it, and this is what I put all of those extras in to come home with. Any overflow of souvenirs, you know. This is a Vera Bradley Weekender bag. Again, go to that other iCard or down in the description to where I uh, review 
uh, my travel bags and I give you a big tour of this bag. It's lovely, lovely, lovely bag. One of my staple travel bags, I love it. Okay, uh, let me go through my packing cubes first. I have two packages of these packing cubes. My favorite packing cubes, as again, as I said, up to this point are from Shack Pack. And I bet you you can figure out what color these cubes are gonna be. This, they call this a laundry bag. I don't use it for laundry, you guys. I take, as you saw, a little pop-up laundry basket. I use this for my shoes, you know, especially if they're wet or something like that. I use this, you know, if I need to pack up wet shoes to come home, you know. But anyway, these cubes are obviously pink. The set that I will give you, the link I will give you, will give you the laundry bag and four cubes of varying sizes. This is the largest and it has webbing on it and it, they all have, where is it, a handle. Let me show you the, the four sizes. These are lovely bags, you guys. I would not steer you wrong. The quality of these bags is unsurpassed in my opinion. And these are the other four sizes. That size, that size, and then the little size. I fit all of my unmentionables. I'm talking panties and bras and socks in this. In one cube, you guys, all of them for a seven day cruise, all of them could go in here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy into the littlest one. I, packing cubes have changed my packing life, you guys. The only thing that I'm gonna caution you all about if you do decide to try packing cubes, which I highly recommend, <laughs> is watch the weight of your suitcase. Your suitcase can get super heavy, super quick on you if, because you're gonna be able to take more things in your packing cubes. Trust me, you are. And you just have to watch the weight of your suitcase so that you don't go overweight. Shack Pack, Shack Pack packing cubes. These are not compression cubes. These are not compression cubes. They compress your clothing, but these are not called compression cubes. And I'll show you the difference. So Shack Pack, they come in an array of colors. I have pink and I have purple. And I'll explain to you, well, let me explain to you now. I, this, I'm not gonna be packing for my cruise in this particular video. I will bring you that. I will definitely bring you a video of me literally packing for the cruise, but probably not till I'm home again because I just won't have time to edit and everything like that, you guys. So, uh, but my plan is kind of is to use two garment folders, which let me show you that real quick. And then I'm gonna use one color bag for one of the cruises and another color bag for the other cruises for the other cruise. I've got a California Coastal and I've got an Alaska. So I thought I might try, even though even the bags are not stocked full, I think I will pack certain things in one color and certain things in another that I can say, okay, I don't need that till next week, you know? Leave that in the packing cube and leave it in the suitcase. These suitcases fit under the beds, by the way, in a princess stateroom, no matter what size stateroom you have. These suitcases, these big suitcases, 29 inches or whatever, 28, 29, 30, whatever, will fit underneath the bed. Also the closets in your stateroom, it's, it's a nice size closet too. On a princess ship, I don't know about other cruise lines, but on princess ships, they, you know, you, you don't have problems storing these bags. So those are the Shack Pack packing cubes. Love them, will not do without them. And then as I was fixing to show you, and I will, I'm going to, show you this bag here in a minute, the Begale Compression Packing Cubes. First of all, I love the color, and I don't know whether I can give you a link for the color, but I love these pink ones. I think it's so, such a pretty pink. But these are called Compression Packing Cubes, and I'll show you why. See how you can open, much like a lot of suitcases do, they kind of give you a little bit more room if you need it to expand it. But what these are meant to do, so you have that part, and then you can open it the whole way. So you pack up your packing cube, bop, 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 put everything in there, 
zip it up. And then to compress it down further, you find where the, there it is, you close that second zipper up and compress it down further. And we're gonna see if this is gonna work here. Well, when I do my packing, you'll see it. But also up here, I'm gonna to try to do, I'm gonna to go to my island here in a few minutes and try to show you if this works. We're gonna see. So anyway, those Begail packing cubes. Again, links in the description for any of this. Also, my second, my, my, my second favorite thing is my Eagle Creek packet, garment packet folder. I don't know which, how you say it right. Uh, Eagle Creek garment packet folder medium. This is a medium size. And I pack all of my tops in this. It comes with a little cheat sheet and you will be able to pack, you can see it shows you how to pack pants or shirts and other things, you know? So, I'm gonna demonstrate this in a minute. But we, we went to Hawaii on like a 15 night cruise and I got over 20 tops in this. You open it up and you, and I'll show you, I'll demonstrate it, but you fold your garment around this, pull this out and then lay your garment in so it is, it'll be the exact size you need it to be. When you get them all piled up, you piled up one on, one on top of the other and you close it up like you would like a box or a folder and it compresses down and it keeps all your tops, they come out wrinkle free, honestly, they, or they are no more wrinkled than when you put them in. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And this is awesome. I love, love, love this Eagle Creek garment packet folder in medium. They come in large, but a large I think would be too big but some people might need a large. This also comes on a small too. For you petite ladies, maybe, you know? Anyway, love my garment folder. Love, love, love it. Will not do without it. Kristen is the one that introduced me. Kristen is our daughter, oldest daughter. She is the one that introduced me to all this stuff when Christmas, the Christmas before we went to Hawaii. She uh, knew it was gonna be a, for a long cruise and she could hear me complaining and going, I don't know how I'm gonna pack for this cruise. It's like long and I don't know what I'm doing. And she took it upon herself before Christmas that year to search and research about packing cubes. And she's a big YouTube fan. <laughs> and she went to some of her YouTubers and they were showing the packing cubes and the packing folders and demonstrating. She said, mom, you gotta try it. And I was so skeptical, you guys. I was so, I was like, these are not gonna work. What in the world? I pack, I'm a good packer, I'm organized. I can pack better than any, blah, blah, blah. I wasn't a good packer. I wasn't as organized as I could have been. I didn't take as much as I could have taken. These changed my way I packed, you guys. They changed my life, I'm telling you. They're awesome. So, I'm going to demonstrate the packing cubes and the uh, packing folder here in just a minute. But I want to show you just a couple of other bags. Vera Bradley, for those who are interested, does have a packing cube. I happen to get this, and it is a compression cube as well. I happen to get this from uh, the Vera Outlet Center, or the Vera Outlet Sale. It is only online, you guys, but I do have this. And I plan on taking a cube in my carry-on that just has another a change of underwear, a parent change of socks, possibly a shirt, a top, you know, just to have with me just in case something happens because you just never know what could happen on a cruise, or I mean on a trying to get to your cruise board. Also too, while I'm at it, let me just say for those of you who are cruisers, always go the day before. Bite the bullet, pay for a hotel the night before. It doesn't have to be an expensive hotel, but go the day before if you're flying into your cruise. Port, you never know what could happen. You don't know how many stories I hear of people. The ship will not wait for you on embarkation day. If you are not there, that ship is gonna leave. They have to. They have to adhere to schedules, you know, and they don't, they can't be waiting on you if your plane gets delayed or whatever on the day of your cruise. So go in the day before, that way you're there, take the stress off, you know, you're going on vacation. Don't be stressed about that travel day, you know, make that travel day the day before you embark on your beautiful cruise ship, you know? 
just a word from the wise. And I'll tell you a very quick story. The reason we do this and we learn the hard way. Our very first cruise way back in 2007, our travel agent at the time did not tell us. That's another thing, especially Alaska. If you have, I highly recommend a travel agent. And if you don't have one, please find one that is uh, trained in Alaska. Uh, is Commodore trained through Princess, I believe, if you're traveling with Princess. If you would like the name of a great travel agent, I have one. Just let me know. I'll give you her name. But anyway, make sure that they're uh, they're educated and, and well-versed and that they have themselves cruised in Alaska, especially Alaska, you guys. There's a lot of moving parts to an Alaska cruise. Anyway, just let me know. Reach out to me. Let me know if you want a name. You can email me at arlins, A-R-L-Y-N-N-S, C-C-C, at gmail.com. I'll have that in the description, too. Don't say that in a comment. Email it to me, please. So, okay. I uh, just wanted to show you just a couple of other bags that I got. Another one I got at the outlet this time. This is a travel hanging travel bag. And I do have one with penguins on it. But I just, this was so pretty. I love this pattern. It's vines. So this is just a hanging travel, you know, bag. Has a little hanger here that you can hang in your, on, your, on a hook or on a, a towel rack in your bathroom if you want. Has a little hanger. And it's got a zipper up here. It has uh, other bags that have plastic coverings and then one big pouch down here. And it just folds up and ties together. And I like this because I put any number of things in this. I did want to show you, uh, I have a couple of 31 bags. Krista... Kristen got me this the same year, these two bags, the same year. Actually, she got me three bags. I didn't bring the third one out here. She got me three 31 bags the same Christmas that she got me the garment folder and the shack pack packing cubes. This is what I use for my cosmetics. She also had my first initial put on there, A. Eh? Isn't that pretty? And I haven't found a bag I like more. And I like my Vera bags. You guys know that. But this has a... a plastic part up here and then it also has another one in the front this is a zipper too here and then it's got a big area with pockets in the back and you can see see I have fingernail file q-tips what's in here nothing I think I put my I have little travel brushes I put them in there so this is a lovely bag comes with a handle it also comes with a little thing that you can unhook and hook onto like in your bathroom onto a towel rack or whatever and it can hang as well very nice bag lovely little bag well made very well made again i have a 31 consultant too if you would like her name email me and i will be glad to give you her name and her contact information 31 this is what I use for my jewelry when I take a lot of jewelry. Again, you can see my A there. This is another lovely little bag. It has unzips on both sides and holds all of your jewelry. Each one of these little pouches has a little piece in between them. So you can put like a necklace and then earrings, you know, and it's got, you know, bigger pouches for your, you know, bigger necklaces, and so on. Lovely, lovely little bag. And again, it has another release that you could put around a towel rack or whatever. I'm not sure that 31 still has this pattern. I'm sure this is an old pattern, but I am i don't even know whether they have these same bags, but you could sure check 31.com, I think. it's You spell it out, T-H-I-R-T-Y-1. 31.com you can try that or google it see if you can find it but yep. all right that's all the bags i have out here to show you now i'm going to walk on over to my uh island here and kind of tr going to try to demonstrate how to do these cubes and this packing folder this garment folder all right be right back in just a second okie dokie you guys i'm back here at my kitchen island i'm fixing to 
move you over here a little bit and I'm going to try to demonstrate these compression packing cubes. We're going to see how they work. I don't have a lot to put in them right now because I'm not packing yet for my cruise, but I, you know, I do want to show you the concept and how I think they're going to work. Hopefully they will. And then I'm going to demonstrate my garment folder too. I have a few tops over here. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so let's go over here and get started and try to do this. Let me unzip. All righty, so there we go. <laughs> that is as big as it goes right there, as you can see. So we are going to see if we can compress it down even further, huh? All right, so let's start here. And as I said, I'm going to just put my slacks in here. These are slacks that I take on every cruise. They are from Roz and Alley, and unfortunately they don't sell them any longer, but they do have something called the uh, secret agent pant that might work. So I do not roll my pants. I just fold them like a, like kind of like tri-fold them and I just line them up. So I've got a few pairs here. I don't know how many I'm gonna take quite yet, but I don't think the California coastal is gonna be all that warm the entire time. The further north we go, I would say the chillier it's gonna get. Get another pair there. I'll take at least seven pairs of these, you guys, at least. There we go. All right, then I have a couple of pairs of capris here too. So I'll put them in too. So that's five pairs of pants. And I will fold them better, obviously, when I go to pack them. So anyway, that doesn't even nearly fill up this cube. <laughs> Goodness gracious, I could get much more in it. But there you can see it's kind of, you know, it's kind of full. So let me see if I can compress this even further. Well then, look at that. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I love these. I love these. These are so nice. Now, I don't know how thick I'll be able to get it. You'll have to come back and watch me back for the whole cruise. But, oh, I love them. And they're such nice quality. Such nice quality. Well, I think I'm really going to like these. So, I highly recommend them. Bagail. B-A-G-A-I-L. Bagail. Only thing is, you got to really watch. And when I go to pack for the cruise, I'll also have a, a scale that I will show you how much things weigh. But I love that. Isn't that nice? My goodness. All right. So that's going to work beautifully. Again, I just picked a smattering of tops. And how you do this is you lay your garment face down. Usually I'm packing on the bed, but lay it face down like that. Then put your garment folder cheat sheet down and then fold your shirt or whatever you're folding around the garment folder and up from the bottom and then flip it over and put it into your packing. Folder. And you can see that it's folded at exactly the size that you need it to be folded. Then pull your cheat sheet back out and start with the next one. Again, lay it face down. can see why it keeps it things don't wrinkle very badly in these I'm telling you there we go 
fold it up, turn it over. And what I normally do each time I add one is I change directions of the top of the collar and that way it keeps them you know more even so you're not having all the collars come up one side so that's two I've got four tops here so we'll do all four again face down I just got back into this top you guys this is a top I've had in my closet for literally years. Couldn't fit in it. Don't didn't usually wear white. But I'm gonna wear this underneath one of my little long sweaters. Anyway, same thing. Just like you would be folding if you were doing laundry, turn it over. Put that collar up at the other end. Pull out that cheat sheet. Fix it a little if you want. Also on Princess Ships, for those who might not know, they do have laundromats and the ironing board, use of the ironing board and irons are free in there. Doing laundry is not free, but the use of the iron and ironing boards are free. Okay, one more. Again, face down. This is another one I didn't show on my wardrobe. Got this on deep sale at Avenue. It's kind of a long shirt. There you go. And then all you do is don't forget your cheat sheet. Add your cheat sheet in, don't forget that. And then you just fold it up just like you would a box. You can see how much room you have in these, the stretches. And then you hold it all together. And there you go. Keeps everything nice and neat, and you don't have to iron. It's lovely. I'm telling you, you guys, these packing aids are absolutely wonderful. They changed the way I pack and helped my clothes look better, and I just love them. I love them. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bring this one to a stop, so I'll be right back for some final words here in just a second. Okie dokie, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I hope I was able to give you a couple of new ideas of some tools that you could use to get packed up for any trip. It doesn't have to be a cruise. It can be going anywhere, you know? It can be just going overnight somewhere, you know? They're wonderful little packing tools, honest to goodness. But anyway, for those of you on my travel channel who might not have heard me say these final words, I do say some final words after every, at the end of every video for those who might need and some who want to hear it. So here we go. Thank you all so much for stopping in. I appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate, I appreciate all your sweet comments and your support. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.